Ariana needs some dating advice. Hi, Steve. Hi. My mother recently retired from law enforcement, but that does not stop her from enforcing strict rules for me and the guys I date. Mm -hmm. She actually requires that I take down their social security numbers and their home addresses so she can run a criminal background check on them. <laughs> Needless to say, I rarely get a second date, so how can I get a second date without scaring them off? Well, <laughs> OK, if you keep asking for license plates and social security numbers, <laughs> You're not going on any second dates. <laughs> Let me tell you how you do this. First of all, the first date does not require a background check because you do want to go to a place that's very public and I always tell women, my daughters, drive your car. That way, if something goes horribly wrong, you can just leave and go home. Now, you cannot ask a man for a social security number. <laughs> what you can do is get there first when he pulls up in his car, once he goes in, you walk past the car with your phone, click, click, got it. <laughs> Email the license plate to your mama. The background check is getting done while you eating. You don't have to ask the man nothing. Or before you park, hey, can I get a picture of you? And he goes, yes, boy, that's a nice car. Stand by the car. And click, click, you got his license plate in the car. Now, if he's standing in front of the license plate, you're going to have to get him move over a little bit. <laughs> that's the only thing that help. But your mama got to slow down a little bit. <laughs> have you dated some guys that you really liked and then your mom tells you whether you can go out with them or not? Uh, yeah, she will definitely... What has she uncovered thing? on these background checks? <laughs> um, she doesn't really tell me much. If she says, I don't want you going out with them, then I know it's something bad, so... Uh, you won't be dating none of my friends, that's for damn. <laughs> <laughs>